Just came back from that round two, 107 degrees outside, straight sun, so hot the phone kept overloading. Listen, one thing you must recognize is that you must put yourself into the frequency of a winner to begin to even speak, to begin to even have confidence, to begin to even be a fucking winner. You can't even attempt to move in this universe without putting some wins under your belt every time you awaken back into consciousness. Whether you come in out of your normal overnight sleep, you come in out of your nap, out here they doing siestas like a motherfucker. Listen, you have to put yourself in the frequency of the winners to then see how clearly all of these losers are choosing to be fucking bums. Whatever you are, your world is yours. If you're okay, with being less anywhere at any time, you're going to be okay being less everywhere and every time. It don't matter where you go. As the big homie once said, vibration knows no location. And if you switch locations and you switch your vibration, then you really not the individual that you need to be. People go on vacation all the time talking about vacation. People vacate their normal premises, vacate vacations, vacancy, right? They go on vacation and vacate their normal premises and apparently their program goes out the window. So what the fuck were you working out for? Were you just working out to tell people you're working out? We train and more importantly, we have daily routines which put us into a particular frequency, into a particular vibration, into a particular state. Whether we wanna look at that from the basis of electrons, protons, neutrons, as we start to get our heart rate up, our blood moves faster. What is blood made out of? Electrons, neutrons, etc. protons, atoms, vibration, nutation. What is the nutational rate? The rate at which an electron moves around its nucleus of protons and neutrons. <laughs> rate of vibration, baby, right? It's not just a abstract, figurative way of speaking. So not only the blood, but your, every part of your being. And then we can talk about it from a cognitive perspective, where your brain frequency changes from sleeping, which is delta, kind of dreaming, theta. Then you wake up, you're automatically in beta. So you need to put yourself into an alpha state of cognition. And most importantly, I never tell nobody about this, but you need to put yourself into the Omega brainwave frequency where you're really attuned and connect to the universal source and you and the universal source become one to the point where you recognize your mind is the mind of the universe at a lesser degree. Therefore, you can now put in dua, you can put in supplications and as you ask, show you how you receive in supply. Whatever you are, your world is yours. I can't dumb this shit down for the losers no more, man. I came from a bunch of losers. I came from a bunch of people who didn't even know they didn't know. A lot of people knew they didn't know and chose not to know. I'm a motherfucker said, fuck this. I'd rather be more than be less. So if you're okay with being less anywhere, anytime, you're okay with being less everywhere, every time. And we just don't consider these people anybody to consider anymore. Put yourself into the frequency of a winner. So many people talk to me like they have the position of leverage, but don't forget, we're the embodiments of the universal law. We are the ones who know and apply the law. We are the ones who actually know. And the proof is in the prosperity. And the proof of your lack of knowing, the proof of your ignorance, the proof of your incompetence is in your disparities, your desperation, your despondency, your poverty. So, so many people, losers, talk to us as if they have leverage and fail to recognize that Real intelligence recognizes real intelligence. Lower intelligence can't perceive higher intelligence. Higher intelligence can perceive lower intelligence. Now, how does that play out? The high can see the low, the low can't see the high, but the low believes it's the highest and that's why it's the lowest. You get that? Whatever you are, consider the vibrations raised. No matter where I go in this world, I'm an antenna, I am a conduit, I am a channel, I am a modem for the direct connection of the uploads and the downloads of the infinite intelligent universe. The original internet, homie. <laughs> Consider the vibrations raised. If you don't see how free 
I've been leading myself to become and the initial disciples of YWY to become, <laughs> you're just too blind to recognize your own folly. That Western Hemisphere is a factory for souls. <laughs> One of the biggest. And y'all are so stuck in it that most of y'all have never been out of it to see that you're so stuck in it. We have the liberty to move north, south, east, west because it's not outside of us. It's not on us. It's in us. Consider the vibrations raised now. Sober, fit, enlightened. Let's start you there because everybody skips to the money. They mad because they're in this system and they blame the system and the system, system, and the money is... Nah, you just don't get it, homie. The system is not to be cheated. It's just, they don't give you the game up front. And you're going to teach everybody that, nah, nah. It's up to you to seek the truth. And I'm so glad I'm one of those who did and not only sought the truth, but became the truth. Consider the vibrations raised. Call me the male Harriet Tubman of 2024 and the contemporary generation, but if you're okay with being another alcoholic, smoking, banjo playing, individual on the plantation, it don't matter what it looked like. Another proletarian, another wage earner, another slave to the system. And by all means, stay back there. Mm -hmm. But us, we're liberating our souls. Consider the vibrations raised sober, fit, and enlightened. Let's get you sober and stay the fuck sober. I realized the other day, so many people can't even hear their inner intuition because they're so drowned out by the voices of desire and compulsion to run to these drugs. And they don't have that internal quietude. The word is quietude. You need to establish quietude to be able to hear that voice, which is gonna direct you to the next best thing at all times. But if you continue to drown that out, then you lose that connection to that infinite intelligent universe, modem connection, upload, download. You get disconnected from the server, homie. So you gotta get sober. Once you get sober, you get your connection back online. Once you get your connection back online, that's when you get the downloads and you have to be able to become a figurative light bulb that could sustain the voltage, that could sustain the electrical circuitry because most of y'all start to get the energy and y'all don't know what to do with it. Y'all don't have nothing to do with it. Y'all don't have nowhere to place it. So you hit the kill switch, kill your nerves. I already know because I used to be there all the time and I studied myself very well enough to know that wasn't the answer. So what did I do with that energy? I started getting fit, as I should. I'm sitting there doing the push-ups just now. I'm telling myself like, oh, this is what we're supposed to do because every push-up makes me better, stronger, evolved, more resilient, more determined, better. Let's use the word better, superior, every rep. So instead of using our energy to kill our energy to degrade ourselves, we just use our energy to recycle our energy, upcycle our energy, sublimate our energy, transmute our energy into being upgraded. So once you stay sober, you get the energy back, you get the connection back, mental and physical. Now we have to do something with that energy. Either you're gonna use it destructively or constructively. It never goes anywhere but somewhere. So now we need to constructively apply that to self. Now we get you fit. You create the vessel of the divine spirit, the temple of the living soul. Now the connection is better than ever, your bandwidth increases, and now you can be a fully functional conduit and speaker for these things. This is why you need to put yourself into the frequency. When you see a fat body, you see a very loose frequency. Not tight, not concise, not on the point. And lastly, we need to give you the enlightenment. We need to build your mind so that you know how to navigate this world. So many people think they know some shit, but the fact that they aren't some shit really shows that they don't know shit. You need to learn the truest of truths, not these false truths, not these delusions. I'm telling y'all, from this side of the world, I can see y'all so clear, y'all don't even understand how much y'all behind the wheel. So we need to get you to the real lines of truth. And once you are sober, fit, and enlightened, you have already become such a high level being, one of the rarest of the rare, it don't matter how much you have or don't have, you are more than motherfuckers. And then you can proceed to having as much as you want. Motherfuckers who compete on the scale of who has more, it's an infinite dumbass game. It doesn't, but who can be the most? That's more of a, if you wanna make a competition, 
it's going to be bad for a lot of people. But you, it's never comparative because the scales aren't even. It's like a ANOVA statistical analysis. I keep bringing it back to statistics because math is numbers, language of the universe. You can't compare certain pools of data to other pools of data without taking certain things into account. So once you realize it's not even about competition, I've been saying on the program for so long, I don't compete, I just become more unique. You know, and I know when people are trying to like compete, when you realize like, then you realize like, whatever you why your world is yours, you're supposed to be something. And once you be and become it, and you are it, you still have to be it better than ever, forever. That's it. You're meant to serve a function. So sober, fit, enlightened, and rich by serving whichever function you're meant to serve at the highest level. Consider the vibrations raised. The intelligent, the wise, the sensible. Answer the call, get on the program. Otherwise, watch yourself decay slowly but surely, looking over the fence of your existence as everybody outside is having fun and living and becoming. You're slowly aging and sitting on the porch. Still kids afraid to leave the stoop. Still kids afraid to leave the stoop. Now you're old, lacking experience and living with regret. We don't want you to go out like that. Come outside, it's a beautiful world, but don't forget, you're here to serve a function. Consider the vibrations, right?